next intermediate small results that we will be using uh, later part is vitali covering lemma if you are given with uh, these are open bounded and intervals of r then uh, what it says is there exists a sublist say i k1 i k m such that this i1 union whatever it has covered already can be covered by what is this notation uh, uh, three times i k1 first let us understand that suppose some interval is say something like a and b and then three times i is you find out the middle point of this so so this is a and this is b like the center which is a plus b by 2 so this is equivalently we can write it is ball centered at a plus b by 2 and of radius b minus a by 2 so what this 3i is keeping the same center but consider the radius to be 3 times so that's what it means so keep the center and multiply the radius three times okay now you can i leave it for you to calculate what this is choose k1 uh, such that uh, the length of this particular k1 is bigger than or equal to the rest of things this is true for all n now once you have chosen this uh, k1 among this remove that set and next choose k2 such that again you want k2 to be bigger than or equal to all of this but this time for of course for all of them and i1 should be different from the k1 that we have chosen okay that means among the k1 you have dropped down the ik1 in the previous step but this is not enough this is one condition but i also need another condition which is this new set that i have chosen should be dif disjoint from the previous so at 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 the L stage you will choose a KL so condition is you want a cardinality of this KL it has to be bigger than all of course I is varying from 1 to n and I should not be equal to any of the uh, previously chosen K1 K2 we are not choosing any of them not only that we also want this presently selected one should be disjoint with all ki's okay. that is how you choose these sets so given this i1 i2 in n open bounded 
intervals of r uh, we go by a process of choosing uh, elements so choose k1 such that uh, this ik1 which is one among the i1 i2 in uh, uh, such that this is largest in largest in length that is equivalent to saying that uh, this length is bigger than or equal to length of all okay and at the next stage so remove this ik1 from that list and remaining list you choose the next set such that it has two things one is this is largest length and second condition is it is disjoint from previous selected sets so what does it mean that at the stage l um, uh, if you are choosing kl then i k l is bigger than or equal to uh, bigger than or equal to all the sets which are surviving and i k l is disjoint with i k l minus 1 i k l minus 2 up to i 1 i k 1 this process has to end because there are only finitely many uh, sets that we are starting with we got the following set that is k 1 k 2 km and we want to claim that this is the set which will satisfy this will satisfy the claim of i1 union in will be subset of 3 times of ik1 union 3 times of ikm uh, there are two cases first case let's say j belongs to I take any i suffix j and I will prove the statement. So let's take j belongs to k1. If j is one among the one among the element, anyway it is this side. So then i j is equal to some i k i, which will be contained in three times i k i. So we are done. And then second case is. Suppose J is not in this set. J is not being selected at these stages and the process also terminated. So what we can conclude is that since we, if we have not selected J, what could be the reason is that, that there are two reasons. Either it may not be the largest one or it may not be disjoint from the previous selected sets. If it were I, I suffix j were uh, disjoint from all these things, then we should have chosen that. So, and hence, I, it is clear that i j, i suffix j, is is not disjoint with this i suffix k s. That means at least for some uh, case of xi, iki and ij will intersect. Choose the one which is the small. Okay, So, let ikl be the first one or what is called kl is the uh, uh, smallest. Now, if we have chosen in that way, then what it says now go back. The definition says that we have not chosen the ij at that stage, which means that this length 
has to be less than or equal to the chosen set at that stage that may be one reason or this may not be disjoint with everything else that we have started that is ij intersection ikl this is also non empty okay so we got a set i which is smaller than ikl this ij is a smaller set and its intersection is also non empty now what remains to prove is that this ij can be covered by 3 times of this ikl okay so how to prove this see as we have already learned any interval ij i'll consider this is ball centered at uh, some center c and of radius r okay and this ikl also ball centered at or center d and radius s so let's observe first few things you it is given that these two set intersect so in the case of so this is this is ij and uh, and this is ikl they intersect okay and what is also given is that look at the in terms of the length so this ikl has bigger length and ij has smaller length this much information is given to us that is same as saying your r is less than or equal to s because its length is bigger so let's say if the intersecting point is some y okay now all that i need to prove this statement so let's start with suppose x is in ij okay so i'll start a point x here i need to show that uh, x is on the other side that means 3 times ikl if ikl is this uh, what is 3 ikl it is same center but three times of the radius okay now all that i need to show that if x is in ij i need to show that this is in bd 3s uh, 3k l that means i need to start with x minus d this is standard process what i know so i will add and subtract c do i know anything about x minus uh, c i don't know but do i know anything about c and d no that is also i don't know so this is of is the center here and c is the center here and y is in the intersection of ij and ikl so let's go back so i took x minus c so that's going to be less than x minus c plus c minus d now i know this x minus c is less than or equal to r but this i don't know what the distance between center and center but i know a point in the intersection so again the same trick of adding and subtracting that will give me and then you can write this as so notice that this is r and this c is between c and y it belongs to this set so it is less than or equal to r and y and d 
and you have taken that point is also in the other side so it is less than yes and we use the fact that r is less than or equal to yes and so we get it is less than 3s so distance between x and t is less than 3s which means x belongs to ball centered at d of radius 3s which is what we want to prove